Hey everybody, so for today's Turtle Talk Tuesday video, I wanted to do a quick collection update video for all of you turtle fans out there. So there has been quite a bit of a lull in Super 7 and NECA TMNT figures, although there's been quite a bit announced and quite a bit of pre-orders out there. Not a lot actually coming out. So I've been having quite a fantastic time with buying a bunch of vintage figures and vintage accessories to complete various figures uh, on eBay and at various toy shows. So here is my shelf of good guys for the vintage figures. Um, I recently completed the Monty Moose figure. So if you can see down in there, um, I got his belt and all of his weapons, um, as well as his little buddy. Um, I got all of those on eBay um, for a pretty good price. I mean, they are a pretty uh, pricey set of accessories, um, but I uh, already had the figure and the handcuffs, and that's all I had, and I've had that for quite a while. So I did stumble upon an auction that was selling his belt and all of his other weapons besides the handcuffs. So it's always nice when you can find an auction that has exactly what you need and you're not paying for anything extra. Then uh, the Dr. L figure is a recent addition. Um, and then I found uh, another auction that was selling just his mask. So I got uh, the Dr. L figure with his uh, shield, and then um, probably a couple weeks later, I got the mask in a different eBay auction with some other accessories. Another figure that I recently completed is the Hothead figure. Um, I've had this figure with everything except his sword, and I did actually manage to get his sword on uh, eBay for a really, really good price. I think I got the sword for maybe around $10 or so, which is uh, pretty sweet. The um, Rock and Roll Mondo Gecko is a new addition as well. Um, so he was in a, a pretty big lot um, of uh, accessories that I got, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, I think I probably spent around $100 total on this uh, lot and uh, the seller had this figure. I did not yet have this figure in my collection, so I added that to the uh, lot of accessories. So uh, Mondo Gecko is definitely one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite vintage toys. Very happy to add the um, rock and roll version, or uh, sometimes the uh, hippie version as he is known. Don't have any of his accessories, so I will be on the lookout for those. Uh, but he does have his tail. I don't know if you can see it back there. Uh, but it is nice that uh, he does have his tail. And the figure itself is in pretty good shape. So another um, accessory that I added uh, that I do believe came with the Mondo Gecko uh, lot that I bought was uh, Mer Dude's Starfish. So I actually have that sitting on his shoulder. Um, I've had this Mer Dude figure for quite a while, and then I did manage to get his uh, spear um, and his trident, and uh, now all I need is his gun to complete this figure, and uh, Murdude is another really, really big favorite of mine. Um, oh, and then I also got a bunch of accessories for uh, Zack the Neutrino, so that his accessories were also included with uh, the lot that I got with uh, Mondo Gecko and some of these other accessories that I've purchased. Um, so yeah, as you can see, my vintage figure shelf is getting quite crowded and um, I have a really, really nice collection here that I absolutely love, very happy with, and um, yeah, not a whole heck of a lot left that are um, what I would consider affordable. So there you go. Now, coming down to the villains, um, I've also made um, a, a couple additions here. Um, the, uh, the main thing is probably uh, the uh, Antrax figure. So I recently got him 
on eBay. You can see that he does have his uh, whiskers, but he does not have his antenna, and that's why I was able to get a pretty good deal on him. Uh, in uh, the auction, in, in the one that I spent like 100 bucks on, was his um, ankle chain, his ball and chain. And I've had his uh, mace weapon for quite a while. I actually got a long time ago. And uh, his big axe weapon is actually on the way. I actually uh, purchased that very recently on uh, eBay. So Antrax will be complete except for his antenna. I'm not too, too concerned about that. I mean, it doesn't completely break my heart that he's missing his antenna because uh, he's just still a really awesome figure. Now, I will be posting a video where I'm going to talk a little bit about Worm, uh, which that'll be a really, really fun video. Um, and then still on the lookout for, uh, believe it or not, Chrome Dome's little tiny red sword. Um, I have everything else, but still on the lookout for that. And I think that's about it for the villains. I haven't really had a lot of additions to the villains besides uh, Antrax. And of course, there's still some accessories I'm looking for and some villains that are probably beyond my price range. Now, here is my shelf of Raphael figures. The uh, Raphael troll figure is uh, pretty new. So I got that on eBay uh, a little bit ago. And uh, there's a couple other new Raphael figures that I'm going to do a different video of um, for a very specific reason. So, uh, you know, keep watch for that video. Um, this uh, little knife, little dagger, completes this figure for me. So that was another recent addition that I'm very, very happy that I was able to get for a decent price. And uh, yeah, as you can see, got a mixture of vintage and 20, uh, 2012, 2003 Raphael figures, as well as these are the you know re-release figures that are much, much newer. Um, but yeah, love my Raphael figures for sure. And uh, yeah, I think... That is about it for all of the most recent additions. Uh, here is everything else in the room. I'm trying to think. Um, oh, yeah. And we've got down here my miscellaneous shelf. Um, I did get the um, Michelangelo as Frankenstein's monster. So that completes my team of original Universal Monsters. Um, I have um, one of Raphael's Cobra Size on the way. Uh, that's coming along with Antrax's Axe. So I am going to be on the lookout for these accessories for these four guys, but they are pricey accessories, so I'll probably uh, be pretty picky about those. I don't want to Spend a whole heck of a lot of money on those. And then the uh, Dream Beaver is also a new addition. I think that was like 3 or $4 at a uh, little toy shop. Threw that guy in there just for the heck of it. And uh, yeah, I think that'll about do it. And I did, um, you know, gotten a couple, uh, couple NECA figures. Um... But, yeah, nothing too, too crazy going on right now in the uh, turtle room. We're on a little bit of a break. And, uh, yeah, so let me know what you think here of the turtle layer. Um, love this setup. Love this room. Uh, can't wait to add more to it, especially some more uh, vintage figures. And, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. Check out my other turtle-related content, and have a great day. Happy Turtle Tuesday.